<laughs> hey John, can I call you John? I totally agree that micro lending is awesome in concept, and uh, it's a great way for uh, allows people to bootstrap themselves up. But uh, the implementation is uh, sometimes lacking. Uh, NPR did a couple stories about uh, how there's been a serious backlash against it in India. The problem is really not all that different than the problem we've been having here with lending in the states. That is, lenders not doing due diligence and extending loans to people who may not have the wherewithal or any kind of concrete plan to repay the loans. Um, these people might some, are sometimes taking these loans out just to cover their day-to-day -day living expenses, in, in much the same way that credit cards are perhaps misused here in the States. Uh, I'll link these uh, NPR stories that do a better job of explaining the issue than uh, I probably ever could. Uh, the Wall Street Journal also had a good article on it. I'm not certain if uh, Kiva was one of the groups that was specifically called out on it, um, but I do think that any discussion on, uh, on f uh, finance in the third world is incomplete without a discussion of uh, micro savings, which is perhaps of even more importance to uh, impoverished peoples over there because it gives them an opportunity to build up uh, credit against hard times and let them avoid uh, situations in which they could, um, in, in which they would go see, seek some of these micro lens loans in the first place, and and perhaps avoid these hard, high costs of lendings at all altogether by uh, financing, you know, being able to save up and then finance their own expansions through their own capital. So uh, I guess in short, uh, Kiva is probably awesome, but perhaps not all micro lenders are created equal.